starving rooster in Minot, North Dakota. everyone. In this episode of Fetching Food, I am visiting a few places in Minot, North Dakota to fetch some food, including the Starving Rooster, Minot's Roosevelt Park Zoo, and downtown. Hi. Even with the remoteness of Minot and its smaller population, a little over 40,000 people, the local food choice is totally happening. If you want to get a little history of the town and hear about another Minot restaurant, Elevation, check out episode 4 of Fetching Food. To get it, you can click up here. Minot has locally owned grills, pubs, fine dining, brew and steakhouses, brew pubs, and family restaurants. They also have a cookie shop. This place, they have a railroad museum, a nice parking lot. In addition to lots of local restaurants, they have lots of cool shops too, including an awesome bookstore. Nice buildings with, with um, benches. Nice trash cans. It's a nice little town. Yeah, they, they have little cute shops. We had a chance to meet one of Minot's esteemed residents. Let's call him Buster. All this walking around is making me hungry. Now let's get to the starving rooster and fetch in some food. The starving rooster, which has locations in both Minot and Bismarck, has a very unique history. The building, originally built in 1919 for the Altman and Taylor Tractor Company, was built on quality and pride. The Starving Rooster logo was used by the company because their thresher was so good, it didn't leave a speck of grain behind. Thus, the roosters starved. Now, as you'll see a little later, the Starving Rooster doesn't skimp on portions, but they do, as did their ancestor, take tremendous pride in their products. Not sure what's going on here. Sometimes it's just best to not ask questions. I really like the look and feel of the starving rooster. It was modern and industrial, but yet you can tell they took tremendous pride in their western roots. These two styles definitely work well together. I'm gonna check out their menu. So they have um, soups and salads, appetizers, Paninis, sandwiches, brick oven pasta, pasta bakes, flatbread pizza, and brick oven pizza. And then they have two two locations in North Dakota. We're at this one in Minot, and then there's one in Bismarck. A lot of people don't know, but Bismarck is one of the largest companies in the world that deals exclusively in art. Bismarck, for all of your ARC needs. I'm gonna look at the pizza and the soups. I'm gonna look at the soups. They have the soup of the day, chili with sour cream, cheddar, cheese, and green onions. And then house salad, which is iceberg lettuce, mixed greens, romaine, tomato, red onion, and croutons. There were so many delicious choices, it was hard to decide. What's Prosti Udo? Prosti Udo is a delicious ham that is made exclusively from pigs with peg legs. A lot of people don't know that. I don't know what I want because there's two really good pizza choices. The Hercules and the Margarita. Man, life is tough. But I got this. So I've decided what I want. 
This is a, a brick oven pizza. Um, it's called the Hercules with pepperoni, Italian sausage, Canadian bacon, prosciutto. Prosciutto? It's pronounced prostiuto. I apologize to all my peg leg swine friends. <laughs> and TSR for cheese blend with red sauce. That sounds like a lot of things. Can I have the Hercules, please? It's good. It's salted caramel iced coffee. I'm not a vampire. This is just cranberry juice. <laughs> While we were waiting for our food, I was hamming it up for the camera. All my fans just can't stop taking pictures of me, or at least just grandma. <laughs> Thankfully, an appetizer came and I could shake the paparazzi. So this, this is garlic bread with a tiny smidge of, I think, butter. That's good and soft. As we're waiting on my Hercules pizza to arrive, let's shoot over to the zoo and see what food we can fetch there. Right now, we're not gonna fetch food with me. We're gonna fetch food with that giraffe. I love zoos that allow you to interact with the animals, and Roosevelt Park Zoo did not disappoint. Feeding this guy was amazing. Sorry for the long shot, but he's way too adorable not to show the whole thing. If anyone needs a full-time giraffe feeder, give me a call. Okay, I'm hooked. Let's see for what other animals I can fetch some food. So this guy's also fetching food, but he has these tiny little grass pellets. So here. Yeah. Other people are fetching food too, like this lion. He's eating fetching food. Well, I think my pizza might be ready. Let's jump back over to the starving rooster. Pizza? When my pizza got here, it looked amazing. The cheese fell off and stuff on this one, but this is my first bite. But that was really good, good. Really good. With, with I think it was pepperoni, meat, and this very thin sliced ham. Better known to us sophisticated people as prostiuto. It's good. It's like, it's like meat pizza. Everything we had at the Starving Rooster was so good, including their mac and cheese, paninis, and salads. The pizza is really good. I just can't finish it all. My grandfather gave me a pickle. And I love pickles. It's time for today's pap fact. Banging your head against the wall burns 150 calories per hour. That was today's pat fact. Now that I'm full, it's time for my close-up. Whoa, too close. My review of this restaurant has to be a 5 out of 5. 5 out of 5 restaurant. So what made this good What has to be the, the cheese. The pizza and the salads and that TSR for cheese, and that's good. This has been in the Starving Rooster in Minot, North Dakota, and this is Fetching Food with Foster.
Hi. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you click here to subscribe and click here for a mi another Minot episode and click here for Ficker's Brew House in Duluth, Minnesota.